And now to the race for the White House. More than 200 Republicans who worked for both former President Bush's Senator John McCain and Senator Mitt Romney have endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris for president. The group penned a letter saying in part, democracy would be, quote, irreparably jeopardized by another Trump administration. Joining me for more on this is the Harris on the Harris campaign is CBS News campaign reporter Aaron Navarro. Aaron, how significant is it that this new GOP group is putting support behind Harris? Well, good morning. This was actually a group of folks. Some of them did the same letter for President Biden's campaign in 2020, about 150 former Republican presidential administration staffers signed a similar letter saying that electing Trump is untenable. You're seeing 200 this time for Harris, and they range from, you know, former interns on the campaign for John McCain in 2008 to a longtime chief of staff for George H.W. Bush, as well as a former staffer to W. Bush, as well as former Vice President Mike Pence. But it is in line with the argument the Harris campaign is making that they have bipartisan support and that, that follows uh, several Republican speakers at the convention in Chicago last week. Harris has released three new ads, Aaron, to highlight her economic policy. The campaign is also embarking on a bus tour this week in Georgia. Where would you say the campaign is focused right now? Right now, it is focused on affordable housing. They have over 20 events this week dedicated to that part of her plan, which, uh, you know, includes cracking down on what she calls exploit exploitative landlords, uh, a mission to build 3 million new homes, as well as offer more incentives for first-time home buyers. And the new ad from her campaign this morning really ties it to her own story, talking about how her mom had to save money to buy their uh, first home. And that's going to be the focus for the campaign, as they continue to try and define her on the economy, an issue Trump usually does better on in the polling as, as they get into this home stretch of the race. Has the Harris campaign given any indication as to whether she'll do a formal interview? I know that the Trump Vance ticket has really been criticizing her hard on that recently. Right. And she has said she would do it by the end of the month. Obviously, the days are ticking. There has been no formal announcement yet on when or who that interview uh, will be, uh, they'll be doing it with. Um, but, you know, a couple of days left in the month. We'll see if that changes during this bus tour or any other travel this week. So it sounds like we may know by the end of the month, but the interview itself isn't going to take place by the end of the month, right? The, the interview will take place by the end of the month is what the okay. campaign has said. Yep. Okay. Aaron, thank you so much. Take care.